Today's lesson is on triangle congruence by side 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 and side angle side. Take a minute to read over the learning goal and the scale. Find where you are on the scale before we start the lesson. We know that if two triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles and three pairs of congruent corresponding sides, then the triangles are congruent. Well, we can prove two triangles are congruent without having to show that all their corresponding parts are congruent. Let's take a look at the side, side, side postulate. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So look at side AB, it is congruent to side DE. Side BC is congruent to side EF, and side CA is congruent to side FD. That means triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D E, F. Remember, a postulate is an accepted statement of fact. The side-side-side postulate is probably the most logical fact about triangles. It agrees with the notion that triangles are rigid figures. Their slopes do not change until pressure on their sides force them to break. This rigidity property is important to architects and engineers when they build things such as bicycle frames and steel bridges. In example one, we will use the side-side-side postulate. We want to prove that triangle LMN is congruent to triangle NPL. Let's take a look at the given information. Side LM is congruent to side NP, and side LP is congruent to side NM. That is given. We also know that because side LN is in both triangles, side LN is congruent to itself by the reflexive property of congruence. Since three sides of one triangle are congruent to three corresponding sides of the other, we have triangle congruence by side, side, side. So we can say that triangle LMN is congruent to triangle NPL by the side, side, side postulate. Pause the video and do you try number one. All right, let's prove triangle BCD is congruent to triangle BFD by using the side, side, side postulate. Let's start with the given information that side BC is congruent to side BF and side CD is congruent to side FD. Next, since side BD is in both triangles, we know that it is congruent to itself. Side BD is congruent to side BD because of the reflexive property of congruence. Finally, since three sides of one triangle are congruent to three corresponding sides of the other, triangle BCD is congruent to triangle BFD by the side-side-side postulate. We can also show relationships between a pair of corresponding sides and an included angle. The word included can be demonstrated here. Notice that angle A is included between side BA and side AC. Side BC is included between angle B and angle C. For the side angle side postulate, we will be working with an included angle. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So notice that side AB is congruent to side DE. Included angle A and D are congruent, and side AC is congruent to side DF. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. If you've ever measured something with your arms to see if it would fit somewhere else, you have used the side angle side postulate to determine whether or not that something will fit wherever you want it to go. Math is really cool, isn't it? In example two, we will be using side angle side postulate. What other information do you need to prove triangle DEF is congruent to triangle FGD by side angle side. Explain. Well, we know that, that side EF is congruent to side 
GD. We also know that side DF is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. In order to use side angle side, we need to know that angle EFD is congruent to angle GDF. Since this angle EFD and its corresponding angle GDF are included between these two sides and these two sides, we would then have side angle side congruence. Side angle side congruence. Remember when we learned how to construct segments using a compass open to a fixed angle? Now we can prove why that works. Similar to the situation with the box in the doorway, the side angle side postulate tells you that the outline triangles are congruent. Therefore, side AB is congruent to side CD. Pause the video and do you try number two. What other information do you need to prove triangle LEB is congruent to triangle BNL by the side angle side postulate? Since they have told us that angle ELB is congruent to angle NBL, and we know that side LB is congruent to itself by the reflexive property, we need to find the other side that will make this angle included. So, since angle ELB is included between this side and this side, we need side LE. And since angle NBL is included between this side and this side, we need to know side BN. We need to know that side LE is congruent to side BN. That will make our given angles included between the two sides we know are congruent, therefore giving us side angle side congruence. In example three, we will identify congruent triangles. Would you use side 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 or side angle side to prove the triangles congruent? If there is not enough information to prove the triangles congruent by side 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 or side angle side, write not enough information. Explain your answer. In part A, since we have two, two sides and an included angle that are congruent to two sides and an included angle of another triangle, we have side angle side congruence. In part B, we have two sides and an included angle and two sides and a non-included angle. This would be our included angle up here. So we do not have enough information in part C, we have one, two, three sides congruent to one, two, three sides. Therefore, we have side, side, side congruence. In part D, we have one, two, three sides congruent to one, two, three sides. So we have side, side, side congruence. Also, if you notice, this angle is congruent to this angle because they are vertical. So, we have one side, an included angle, and a second side, congruent to one side, an included angle, and a second side. So, we also have side, angle, side congruence. Pause the video and do you try number three. Would you use side, 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 or side, angle, side to prove the triangles at the right congruent? Explain. Here I have one, two, three sides congruent to one, two, three sides. So I can definitely use side, side, side. However, let's take a look to see if we can use side angle side. Since this angle is included between the side with two marks and three marks, I want to find the angle that is between two marks and three marks of my other triangle. Since this corresponding angle is not congruent to this one, I cannot use side angle side. 
Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. Here are the answers for numbers 1 through 4. Now check your answers for questions 5 through 7. If you do not understand one of these, please ask me tomorrow in class. If you've mastered the lesson check, go ahead and take a shot at the challenge. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. Now take another minute to read the learning goal and the scale. Have you climbed up the scale after going over the lesson?